In this presentation, we're going to take a look at zoysia grass and its use on golf courses in a little more detail than previously mentioned. And given this is a travel type of presentation, we will end this presentation with Japan, which is our destinational point. As background, zoysia grass is native to China, Japan, and other parts of Southeast Asia. The species was named to commemorate an 18th century Austrian botanist, Karl von Zolls. In 1911, zoysia matrella was introduced into the United States by a USDA botanist, C.V. Piper. Zoysia matrella was often referred to as manila grass because Piper introduced it from Manila. Zoysia japonica was introduced into the United States in 1895 from the northern province of China, Manchuria. Just from the regions where these two zoysia species were introduced, zoysia japonica has much better cold tolerance than zoysia matrella. This photograph was taken at a large park outside of Dalian, a city in the southern part of Manchuria. As a point of interest, the Chinese signature written on the rock is Chairman Mao, one of the very few things he signed in public. In this photograph, we can visually see the textual differences between Zoysia japonica on the left and Zoysia matrella on the right. Zoysia japonica is the primary species used in the United States, often on golf courses in the transition zone. The transition zone is where it is too hot in the summer for cool season turf grasses generally too cold in the winter for warm season turf grasses. So if you were to draw a line from Washington, D.C. through Cincinnati, Louisville, St. Louis, and into Kansas City, this would roughly define the transition zone. Zoysia japonica is primarily used on fairways and tees. This picture is a zoysia grass fairway at Hyde Park Country Club in Cincinnati. I'm going to focus on zoysia matrella, because of its wide use through the tropical and subtropical regions of the world, and increasingly in some parts of southeastern parts of the United States, and also including Texas. This is a golf course in Japan that is typical of many. Zoysia matrella is found on tees, fairways, and roughs. This picture was taken in January, and the zoysia matrella is the golden brown looking turf. The putting greens that appear green is creeping bent grass. Zoysia dormancy is an issue as you move into cooler climates. This photograph was taken during the summer in Japan. Given the warm, cloudy, wet weather, zoysia has much better shade tolerance than Bermuda grass. Often in extended periods of rainy or cloudy weather often found in Southeast Asia, even though it's hot, Bermuda grass does not do well because of the low light conditions, and the zoysia grass is used more widely than Bermuda. In the presentation on warm season turf grasses, I mentioned that zoysia matrella is not used on putting greens. However, in the last several years, breeding efforts have resulted in zoysia matrella varieties that are adapted to putting green conditions. Varieties like Xeon and Diamond, to name a few, are adapted to putting greens. This picture shows zoysia matrella varieties being evaluated under putting green conditions. You may notice the zoysia in the background is brown and dormant, while the zoysia varieties are various shades of green. To add color, in this case to this test putting green, pigments or dyes are being added to provide green color. As more golf courses try these varieties on greens, it will be interesting to see how well they do. Given that zoysia matrella and zoysia japonica are low maintenance turf grasses, they have the potential to be used on golf courses where, for example, matrella is adapted under very low maintenance requirements. Going to shift a little away from zoysia and more specifically to golf courses in Japan and Japan in nature. Japan has the second among all countries with the number of golf courses. According to a 2015 report by the RNA, there were 2,383 golf courses in Japan, ranking it behind the United States and slightly ahead of England. 
The big boom in Japanese golf course building occurred in the mid to late 1980s through the early 1990s, mimicking the rapid increase in the Japanese stock market. During this golf boom, golf memberships could range from a million to two million dollars and were often traded on the stock market. At the time, many of the golf courses would cost fifty million dollars to build because given the land mass of Japan in relation to its population, the land available for golf course construction was often restricted to the most rugged terrain. As these courses were being built, memberships were being sold. So in many cases, a developer may raise $125 million, let's say, from selling these memberships before ground was even broken. Like all good times, you think it will never end. Instead of paying off the debt, many developers reinvested the money they made in other projects. But when the Japanese stock market went south in the early 1990s, so did the golf courses. In 2004 and 2005, which coincided with the bottoming of the market, these golfers who had paid a million dollars or so could ask for their money back. Many of these memberships were based on 10-year investments. So even if the courses were making money, when investors asked for their money back, many courses went bankrupt. It was estimated about 25% of courses were in trouble at this time. The golf market is nowhere like it was in the 1980s, but it's probably much like the golf market in the United States. Kind of stable, but at a much lower level. Japan itself is a fascinating country which combines the most modern and tech-savvy types of culture to one still rooted in its history. High-speed trains are part of Japan, along with some other technological advances that I've only observed in Japan. And at the same time, a country steeped in tradition. Here's a photograph of a geisha apprentice known as a meiko in a Kyoto tea house. She performs songs, dance, and plays musical instruments for guests. The tradition of performing traces back hundreds of years. Interestingly, because their dance was performed in dim candlelit rooms at the time, they colored their skin white to make it look beautiful. Here is a Zen Buddhist temple in Kyoto, Japan. It is one of the most popular buildings in Japan. Prior to being a Buddhist temple, over 500 years ago, it was home to a shogun family. This concludes this presentation.